Hi, I'm John Foyer with Silicon Angle and the Cube. We are here on the ground in San Francisco at the Scale D headquarters, Erwan Menard, who's the COO, here to talk about the HP announcement with Scale D. Uh, uh, what is this announcement all about? Well, it's basically about HP bringing their top notch uh, servers and Scale D bringing our software storage to build uh, petabyte scale storage systems. What does this announcement mean for customers? So the customers we're looking at here are large service providers and enterprise who build petabyte scale storage systems to serve their business needs. And so the big news is that now they can do it in shape of software running on industry standard servers and doing that in such a way that they can collapse 80% of a given enterprise needs on one single storage system. What is the impact for customers? What's the big impact? Basically, most customers who've been using the system so far, because we already have 50 petabytes of install base across many customers together with HP, uh, they're looking first of all at a system that can scale very smoothly as their data needs grow, but doing this in such a way that they can benefit the economics of the cloud. We're bringing them the secret sauce of hyperscale guys, software on industry standard servers, and we're doing this in such a way that not only their new application can benefit from this, but their legacy ones as well, offering a solution that that speaks file and object storage. Well, let's hear from Jeff Frick and Carmel with HP. Uh, Jeff, take it away. Hey, thanks, John. And Jeff Frick here. We're down in Carmel Valley with Chuck Smith, the VP of Business Development for the HP Server Division. Uh, exciting announcement, Chuck. Oh, we're very excited about what's going on, and, the, and this announcement's just another proof point of you know our continuing transformation and, and and how we're actually thinking differently about delivering the new style of IT. So let's get into that because HP is born from innovation, right? You had the HP Labs and and uh, the guys in the garage back in the day. So you've got a number of paths to innovation. This seems to be one. Talk a little bit about the way you guys can bring new capabilities to market. Well, I mean, you know, one of the things to note is that this is part of a, a, a broader object storage strategy, and we we have certainly our our own HP branded uh, um, storage, object storage strategy. But the key thing here is that partnerships also make this um, our key element of innovation. And the partnership with Scality um, is very much in tune with us partnering for success out in the marketplace, meeting customers' needs, and actually responding to a lot of the demand we're seeing for this particular workload and solution. So according to the announcement, you guys have already been working together. There's customers in the field that are already deploying the solution. Is that accurate? No, that's right. We've been working uh, with Scality for some time. Uh, we actually have over 50 petabytes uh, of installed storage, so it's a you know it's a great example of how we've been able to deliver the solutions. Uh, a, a particular public customer reference in Germany is RTL2, the network, um, and they're using that for for content capture, uh, the solution, and they actually use it for for the video reuse. So they've been actually used to enable some of their uh, own business model creation for monetization of the videos. So there's some great examples of of, of how we're delivering a huge amount of customer value and we're already, as we said, have multi-petabytes out there with the solution. 50 petabytes, that's a lot that's of right. stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Across multiple customers, <laughs> Across but multiple uh, customers, very, okay. very significant scale. Yeah. Okay, so so uh, video, obviously one use case. What other use cases can you uh, point to? Is, is uh, there's, there's big data, cloud, social, social, right? Those are all the big four things we talk about on theCUBE all the time. Which yeah. one of those are really impacting well, it? Well, I mean, the first to think about is what, what industries and what where, where we're seeing this, and, you know, whether it be at web scale, whether it be media, whether it be telecommunications, financial services, oil and gas. So a lot of these companies that are generating a lot of this um, structured and unstructured data at just massive capacity are starting to see a need to, to store that. And then obviously um, to, to analyze that and to, to generate if, you know analytics around the, the big data we're, we're capturing. Um, and then there's also the, the use and reuse of that data um, on an ongoing basis, archiving, compliance, so variety of these these solutions are, are, are what's coming and you know what's interesting is is that we don't know anywhere near the laundry list of capabilities and solutions um, that are going to come in the next few years because once you get that um, data stored then the number of applications and uses continues to, to expand. So. Yeah it's interesting we interviewed uh, a gentleman from Lawrence Livermore Labs and talking about 
the increasing um, kind of detail and metadata around data that you can just keep adding more and more and more and extracting more and more value out of that data and it just grows exponentially as, as your capabilities to do that. Grow. Right. I mean, I think we've all seen the articles around the, this sort of emerging uh, uh, field of data science and data scientists and the, and the analyzation of clickstream data, uh, of, of data that's captured not just on the web but transactional data. You know, you talk to even manufacturers, that they, they are starting to see what they, they didn't know before in terms of what you capture on the factory floor or from a, from a customer value chain perspective. So there's all sorts of uses that we're going to see come out of that. And the, and the first thing starts with capturing the data and then going to the analytics phase. So, so Chuck, one of the themes we also talk about a lot on theCUBE is the consumerization of IT. And what I mean by that is people's really expectation uh, in application behavior, uh, access to information, speed of information, that, that they've come to be expect in, in, in using Google and Amazon and Facebook and, and LinkedIn and these types of, of applications. And I wonder if you could talk about from your experience how those expectations and those kind of performance demands are really now moving into the enterprise and impacting the enterprise in the way they deliver the, the way they deliver their applications. No, I think that's absolutely what's happening. And I mean, obviously, many of those companies you mentioned are at the forefront of this, and and they're they're not only have, if you will, massive amounts of data that they want to capture, and and they have sort of unique ways in which they're deploying their their infrastructure and application capability. But I think even more so, what's interesting to me is that um, the enterprises now, and as I said, you know, even old line manufacturing and financial services firms, oil and gas, are absolutely seeing a need and, and actually being led by many of these new hyperscale providers to a new way of both capturing data, um, driving it into business models and so on. So it's absolutely um, true that it, it's driving a new style of IT applications, but also um, new ways in which you, you can actually do old, old line decision making, right, from a business perspective. So let's let's dive in a little bit deeper into the actual announcement today. So um, is this an OEM deal? Is this a, a partnership deal? Are you shoulder to shoulder? Kind of what's kind of the meat of the bones of the actual agreement? You know, it's a resale agreement. Um, you know, Scality uh, is essentially going to have uh, the software and the services. Uh, HP has the infrastructure. Uh, across a couple of our platforms, which, is, you know, the flexibility for customers is, is great. Um, but a, many of our customers are saying we want to have HP essentially, you know, own the, the, the single point of contact. And so um, HP has the, the essentially the software and services SKUs as well as the platforms on a single invoice. So it's a, a resale agreement in, in essence, yes. globally. So before I let you go, we're down here because you said you had a, a customer, a little customer event in Carmel Valley. That's so right. If you're an HP customer, make sure you get to signed up for the next year. Talk a little bit about some of the things that came out of that, some of the insights, some of the stuff that your customers are sharing with you today at this moment in time well, and where we are on this journey. I will tell you, we had the exact conversation about big data and we talked about these this solution specifically about what we're doing here and the customers were very excited. It is invitation only, but uh, we, we've invited many of our important customers, but uh, we're looking forward to seeing many of those next year. Great. Well, Chuck, thanks for taking a minute out of your day. John, back to you in San Francisco. I'm Jeff Frick in Carmel Valley. Thanks, Jeff. Really appreciate it. We are here back in San Francisco with everyone minute is a CEO of ScaleZ. Um, what uh, can customers do that they can't do before with this announcement? Well, first of all, they can build really, really big systems. It's about scale, it's about petabytes, hundreds of petabytes. Uh, that was really hard to do with conventional storage systems, which are usually very uncomfortable once you go above a couple of petabytes for a given data volume. Uh, the second thing they can do is to address multiple workloads, multiple use cases. Uh, typically, we do things like active archive, so convert data from tape to disk, make it available to everybody. Large car, car manufacturer doing it with us. Uh, web and cloud services, so um, services like uh, Daily Motion in Europe, which we serve with HP, a 10 petabyte system uh, to allow a video distribution. It's a competitor of YouTube. Uh, think as well of things like. Um uh, video content distribution by classic uh, video companies, uh, broadcasters. The RTL group in Europe is another joint customer with HP, a uh, large install to uh, send content through their, their online channels. Uh, we help also uh, distributed computing, uh, national labs, research organizations. There's a really big one who's building half an exabyte system with us. And then uh, we also look at enterprise in general who like the opportunity of consolidating many storage silos and addressing with one system 80% of their workloads. So that's the flexibility. Um, when you do 
something like this, which really tries to cover so many use cases, you need to come with performance. And basically, the short version of it is that we bring network attached storage performance uh, with the economics of object storage. And that's probably the, the last point, economics. Uh, we can touch the same kind of economics as the cloud hyperscale people, and we bring it to the enterprise thanks to the uh, great server range of HP and the software value prop of Scality. It's a nice announcement with HP, but have customers used this solution before? Oh, absolutely. I love announcements like this where you're not trying to make a new promise, but you're actually showing up with a big install base. We've been working together on the field four years now, 50 petabyte joint install base at many customers. I named a few earlier. So this is really about formalizing the relationship. And from a procurement standpoint, allowing our customers to buy from one single source, because HP can now resell Scality on top of their servers, leveraging their frame agreements with large enterprise. What's What's the big takeaway on this announcement? You can summarize the quick bullet points. Well, the quick, the quick bullet point is let's build petabytes of storage the new way, meaning software on industry standard servers. And you can take the best of both worlds with Scality, who's high performance. It's NAS on object storage. It's pure software. It's installed at many places. And you couple that with the HP servers that are the very best on the market. And you combine those two, you can buy it from HP and, uh, and then serve many, many workloads within a given enterprise. Okay, we are here in San Francisco talking about the Scality HP announcement. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE, The Cube. Uh, big news here in San Francisco with Scality and HP.